be funny. Good evening, Mr. President. Nice to see you, sir. And your lovely wife, Nancy. It's, it's a big treat for me to fly all the way from California to be here for this kind of money. <laughs> nice to see you, Secretary Schultz. What are you doing in town? Anyway, uh... He's sitting there like there's nothing going on. Get busy. Go over to the embassy, have a bucket of beluga. Anyway, uh... Secretary of State's here, <laughs> and Billy Graham, nice to see you, sir. <laughs> this hand is bothering me. <laughs> anyway, it's great, though. I make fun of the president. Why not? I make fun of everybody in the world. That's America. Laughing, Charlton Heston, I'm a friend. It's over. I'll tell you this. <laughs> if you were Moses, I was a Mau Mau fighter pilot. <laughs> is this too fast, Ronnie? Anyway, uh... He's sitting there looking at the program going, where does he say he makes fun of me? Where does it say that? <laughs> Remember when you were governor and you used to walk over to my table? <laughs> now you're big and you're getting on my nerves. I'll tell you this. Is he laughing? If you see Marines coming towards me, go into glory, glory, hallelujah, and shoot Webster. Anyway, I must say, this is a joyous occasion, really. I personally voted for Wilkie. But I'll tell you this. To you, Mrs. Reagan, lovely Mrs. Reagan, to you, our dear president, may God be good to you and yours for the coming four years and beyond that. You're a great gentleman and a great credit to the country. May he give you health, the almighty, and may you reign as long as you wish. God bless. I laugh at the blacks, the whites, the purples. Mostly the blacks. <laughs> The funniest thing for me is watching people respond because they sort of act like they're a little bit indignant, but you know they're so glad that he picked them. I'm only kidding you, Bubba. The black people belong in this country. Uh, Chinese, Japanese, Filipino, my ass, you're a Jap. I'll tell you this. Three years in the jungle looking for your uncle. Everybody wants to get shit on by Don Rickles. What am I bid for this broad before I introduce him? Look at this, the old guy went, four dollars. Oh, it's very offensive, but not if you're into comedy. I have based my whole humor on laughing at bigotry. I laugh at Will Chamberlain, ha, 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 ha. But if you don't laugh back, it's not funny. Is that your wife, sir? Jesus Christ. I'll tell you this. What was it, a train? And I love the Italian people. I'll never forget the word of Carmine Gangananzo, who said to me in Brooklyn on a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're a Catholic and I'm a Jew, and Sammy, you're black. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I, I, never, I never tell the truth. I, I exaggerate. I make fun of blacks, whites, Jews, Italian. Well, Jews. <laughs> Chinese, right? Chinese? This girl here? If you're not, get your eyes fixed. <laughs> Look at a Chinese boy sitting there going, who's Chinese? Who's Chinese? Phyllis Diller, ladies and gentlemen, who, uh, when she was born, God ran out of clay and made her face trick-or-treat Charlie. <laughs> her former husband said on the wedding night, no! <laughs> Bob Newhart made the claim that he was my closest friend. I have never met Bob Newhart. <laughs> Put it to you another way. Bob Newhart goes to many gay parties. I like you very much, Tully. I like you more than I thought I would like you. Please sit down because we could be married in an hour. That's what's in your heart, right, Sam? Be proud. Brothers, we kiss, we hug. Uh, any black on my lips? Letters, folks. We cover them all. My first guest, our new ambassador to the UN, this year's poster child for rabies. Would you welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles? <laughs> nah, I'm not going on. Come back. 
What an evening, Mike. It's so it's good to see you. I didn't know you were still on. Yo, yo. Yeah, yeah. But this is a good jacket. You come in tomorrow night with cotton candy and you work the carnival. <laughs> now, anyway, uh, can I say something since I've seen you? Certainly, I've gotten so old. <laughs> 19 years, John. That's right. Don't milk it anymore. Walk away. <laughs> Get out, Wally. Well, you see... See, I, I, I try to do one show for a long time rather than six or seven like you for a month or two, and then... <laughs> no, no. No, no. When you're that big, you're allowed to turn on a little guy <laughs> who lives in two rooms on Figueroa with a busted accordion. <laughs> Look right in there and let America know you're a millionaire and you don't need them. Right. <laughs> I'm a millionaire. I don't need you. No, don't do that. Don't do that to me. <laughs> but now we're both happily married. Absolutely. You went through a couple of warm-ups, but... Uh... I want to tell you something as a friend. Really. Yes. With these two lovely Japanese girls, you made a fool of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> could, I, could I do it a couple of minutes? No! 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 no. That's no give me a fun. break, I'm so lonely. <laughs> you know you never liked me. What? You never liked me. You like New Hawk better than me. You always did. You finally dragged it out of me, didn't you? <laughs> I'll do the fun Thank stuff. Thank you, of course. Uh, when? I don't... <laughs> Nobody else has said it, and I say it from my heart. You're a lousy act. Don't forget, folks, when you see Clint Eastman in your local drive-in theaters, drive right into the screen. <laughs> i tell you something. If we work together again, so help me. I'm going to the VA, and I'm going to be asked to be sent back to Vietnam. Where's over here? But I'm going to just stay there in the jungle and, and blacken my face so nobody finds me. I never want to see you again, Regis. Really, don't come around anymore. The voice is weak. You stink. You're not good. You stink. And stay out of my life, Regis. And keep that AM show off. I never, I never want to see you again. I'll be going to boil on your neck. My first line to Frank was, stand up, Frank, be yourself and hit somebody. And all the guys with him went, is that, is that funny, Frank? <laughs> Who is your favorite male singer? Honest? Yeah. Dick Haynes. Everybody around couldn't believe I had the macaroons to say this to me. And I did. And when I came home, my cousin was on a hook in the living room. No. <laughs> Marco Mangananzo was hurt. <laughs> Marco Mangananzo? From Binu Bombazzo. <laughs> Two bullets in the head Thursday. I've had a few. Then again, too few. I was eating dinner in a restaurant in New York, and he came over to the table and he said, Frank, do me a favor, will you? He said, I'm sitting with a very pretty girl, and uh, I'm trying to make out, you know. And he said, I told her I know you, and she really doesn't believe me. Would you stop by the table? I said, all right. I was just about finished. And I walked by the table, and I said, how are you, Don? Nice to see you. He said, can't you see I'm eating, Frank? What are you doing? <laughs> You're 64 years old, Frank. I'm a friend. I've been listening to all the people. You look at Frank. It's all over, Frank. It's gone. Everybody doesn't have to be funny all the time. And Don proved it again tonight. <laughs> Whenever you see me, just don't stop to chat. Frank, wait a second. Oh, oh, Frank, don't walk out. I'm just starting to go. Give me a break, Frank. Before you jump all over me from the... Jump all over me, Frank. Not that lonely. I say God bless you. I love you dearly, Jimmy. And I tell you, we have been blessed to have such a man. Good night. I say something? You're supposed to say I should have known better. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> For the kind of money you're making, what's, read the what's... card. <laughs> Learn the thing. You gotta pop out, Frank. Right? Sit in here and study. <laughs> with your method acting, with the breathing, with the bullshit. <laughs> Do the lines and let's get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope.
you've had your rabies shots because here he comes, Mr. Don Richter. This is, who are we honoring? Uh, I look around the room and I realize now, aside from Clint Eastwood, I'm the biggest name here. <laughs> I kid around about people. I got a reputation. Ricardo Montalban, a good friend. You know this. I got a reputation of being, like Newsweek said, the merchant of venom, destroys stars. You people in the back, this is not true. I love people, really. Ricardo, why do I kid you? Why? Because I don't like you. <laughs> Tell you out there, America, our governor is dumb. <laughs> Dean Martin said to me when Governor Reagan, or Regan, whatever they call you, <laughs> Reagan. I don't care. Orson Welles, uh, ladies and gentlemen, has been a great star for so many years. Uh, this man was married to a great many women in his life. They're all flat now. Marty, when we see all the films you did, none of them were great. <laughs> De Niro is sitting there. He's one of the great actors of our time. You ask him. Uh, I'm singing in the room. I'm singing in the room. Genie 90, lay down. <laughs> what is this, London? <laughs> I must be honest, I never liked Lucille Ball. I never did. <laughs> I've seen Kirk in many, many movies, and I say from the bottom of my heart as an actor, he is weak. <laughs> Judge! Push it! Julia Roberts, you live next to me at the beach, you know that. I'm living about two blocks from you. The broad never shows up. Come by and say hello. We're closer than two blocks. <laughs> you have no lines, Julia, just nod. <laughs> anyway, uh... My wife told me to be polite to see you. By the way, she'd be with us tonight, my lovely wife, Barbara, but unfortunately, she swam in our pool today with her jewelry on and drowned. <laughs> Be with Dave. <laughs> you're sitting there like you're the Monsignor in, in Chicago or something. She's laying in bed with the jewelry signaling ships. <laughs> what do you do? You sit in the farm and watch a bird die. And every time we made love, she started a whistle. <laughs> you were great though. You're, like you're like a little mouse in a state prison. <laughs> if he was alive, I wouldn't be doing that. I'd be out here with wheels on my ass sitting like this. <laughs> I didn't know if I stooped or made tea. I'm saying she's a, a lovely woman. She is. She used to be a hooker for the FBI. Oh, no, she... Pass me my pants. I'm a Jew in Idaho for the corn convention. <laughs> I think I can get to that tree. So what do you want me to do? Drop my pants and fire a rocket? 